Okay, so now that I have the airbag out, um, it's just those two screws on both sides. Now, to take out the, the metal bolt. Okay, so it is a 13 16 um, socket, and I'm using a what do you call? I forgot this is even called. Okay guys, so here's a classic example of me screwing up my order for parts. Um, I bought the energy wheel hub, and if you look on the side here, it says, oh, let me see if you can get it better. Yep, right there it says Civic slash Integra, meaning Honda. Okay, so, so this is a wheel hub for Hondas, um, Civics and stuff like that. Holy crap, I got a beat in the car. Oh crap, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, this is for a Civic or um, a Honda, uh, not for a Mazda. So that's a completely different wheel hub. This part is SRK110H. I need SRK160H. So I just went ahead and ordered that off Amazon now, which is going to take another five days to get. In the meantime, I'm either going to try and sell this on Craigslist, or I might return it to the buyer if he's nice enough to take it back, but I still got to pay shipping. So just a classic example of how I screw things up, because the hole is not big enough for the spline here. So make sure you guys, when you're buying yours, um, make sure you do that, and make sure you have the right one. Anywho, that's... Uh, I have to get back to you and finish this project another day. Alright guys, later. Okay guys, so now that I got my right wheel hub, that's the SRK160H Mazda. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install that.
there you guys have it when uh, NRG wheel hub installed. So I got the uh, dash back in and everything. Um, horn does not work. I'll have to explain that later. Um, one, I'm really bad with electronics, and two, I somebody said that you may not be able to install them with some of them because of the airbag or something like that. Uh, I can't remember. It looks awesome. It's very comfortable because it's it's deeper out, so it makes it comfortable. I feel like it's gonna be better on my back just sitting like this. Um, and it just comes really naturally at you um, where it's positioned and everything. So, and it's got the quick release. Let me show you that. Uh, it's just the button on top, right there, and then you just pull back. Alright, so there you have it. There's it's installed and everything. Um, I'm really happy with it. Definitely the suede feels really comfortable and like when you're just on your bare hands, it feels like you have a lot more grip than the leather one I had before. Um, the downside, there's no airbag, so you're gonna wanna have like five point um, five point or four point harness seats. Or I'm gonna go with bucket seats anyways and harness and all that. Um, so I'm gonna feel safe. Um, but the other thing to check is in the box when you get your uh, wheel hub or your quick release, is, don't forget, look under the bottom because there is stuff in there. Um, you get like a energy sticker, um, little mini catalog, and there's a ton of stuff in there. And you get something really useful which hub will work for which cars. Um, you might need that if you ever doing a friend's car or buying another one for your other car. Anywho, um, that's the mod. I hope you guys enjoyed.